Hey, I'm Rob Witcher, and I'm here to help you pass the CISSP exam by teaching you how to correctly read and understand CISSP questions and pick the best answer. This is the first video in our new questions and strategy series. We're going to start by looking at this question here. The four steps in the vulnerability assessment process are reconnaissance, documenting findings, identifying potential vulnerabilities, and question mark. To help us understand this question and be able to identify the best answer, we need to simplify this question and identify the keywords. The major keywords here are vulnerability assessment process. This question is obviously asking us about this process, but there's a lot more to dissect here because the question is giving us three of the steps and asking us which one is missing. To find the right answer, we need to think through the four steps of the vulnerability assessment process and therefore figure out which step is missing. So let's walk through the vulnerability assessment process. Step one is reconnaissance. Reconnaissance means you're passively gathering publicly available information, things like DNS records or gleaning insights from companies' job postings or employees' LinkedIn profiles or Facebook pages. Step two is enumeration. During the enumeration step, you are enumerating, systematically scanning through IP addresses and the associated ports to try and find live systems which might have services offered that might be vulnerable. Step three is vulnerability analysis. In this step, you are attempting to figure out what potential vulnerabilities the targeted system might have. The next step here, execution, does not actually apply to vulnerability assessment. In a vulnerability assessment, you are skipping this execution step and going straight to reporting the potential vulnerabilities. You'd only do the execution step in a penetration test. And therefore, step four of the vulnerability assessment process is documenting findings, where you're reporting on potential vulnerabilities and their severity. Okay, so that's the four steps. Let's now go back to the question and line these four steps up against the steps listed in the question. The first step listed here is reconnaissance. And here is, of course, reconnaissance in the vulnerability assessment process. Check. The next one is an easy one as well. Documenting findings. Check. <laughs> the final step listed here is identifying potential vulnerabilities. This doesn't line up perfectly with any of the exact names of the steps. However, it perfectly describes what you're doing in step three, vulnerability analysis. And there you go. We now know exactly what step we're looking for as the answer, enumeration. So let's go through the answers now. Answer A, attempting to exploit vulnerabilities. That's the execution step, which of course, as we discussed, we don't do in a vulnerability assessment, okay? Answer B, testing if ports are open. Okay, I mean, that is one of the things you're doing during the enumeration step, but it's not a perfect answer. Enumeration is where you're scanning through IP addresses as well. So let's keep looking to see if there's a better answer. Answer C, gathering publicly available information. That's what you're doing during the reconnaissance step. So that's definitely not the answer. Okay, that brings us to answer D, vulnerability analysis. Nope, <laughs> that's not the right answer either. So that leaves us with answer B. It's not the perfect answer, but out of the listed answers, it is the best answer that most closely matches what the question is asking us for, the enumeration step. This is something very important to keep in mind for the exam. You are looking for the best answer. The exam is attempting to test your competence as a security professional. A really good way to test your competence, to see if you truly understand and know how to apply your knowledge, is to give you a partially correct answer, just like this. You need to be able to break down a process, understand what is being done at each stage of the process and why, and therefore pick the best answer. If you're watching this video, you're more than likely preparing for the CISSP exam. My partner in crime, John Birdie, myself, and our team have been helping people just like you prepare to confidently pass the CISP exam for over 20 years. We love guiding folks to become better security professionals and achieve the coveted and well-respected CISSP certification along the way. We've trained thousands of folks at our major corporate clients, and we're now opening our training up to everyone. If you're interested in finding out more about our CISSP masterclass, then check us out here. 
at destinationcissp.com. If you found this video helpful, you can hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to be notified when we release additional videos in this question and answer series, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications. Thanks very much for watching and all the best in your studies.